Uh, hey, Mr. Ashbane with Roblin Bubble Radio. This is RPBR episode 145, pre Gen Con 2017. Gen Con! Oh, God, it's been 50 years. Gen Con. Anyways, that's how I'm saying it now. Gen Con? Gen Con. Gen Con. Uh, Gen Con. <laughs> uh, so. Ha! You said of course, it, it, I said it in the worst way possible. It anyway, sounded you, like you were doing the announcer voice from Smash Brothers. Basically. Um. <laughs> So, uh, before we get into the, the, the Gen Con stuff, uh, we do have an R- RPPR. does have a Patreon. Be sure to check it out. We just posted RPPR After Hours, uh, a great episode where we talk about designs worse than death. Uh, Fate <laughs> Worse Than Death, which is a not cyberpunk, totally cyberpunk RPG, uh, yeah. a crazy adventure called The Convert, and The Street Fighter Player's Guide, because White Wolf published a Street Fighter role-playing game. Because when, when you think Street Fighter, you think that has a rich... A history of role playing. You think yeah. Dotson two guys, rolling. two people, martial artists beating the shit out of each other? That's a story. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we also have, of course, Palladium Poisoning, uh, Patreon games, early access. There's lots of cool stuff. RPBR Illustrated. Uh, so please check it out. Uh, that helps support the podcast. Keep keep the and lights online on. Online games too. And awesome. online games, yes. Uh, Aaron, I, and Sean run games every month, uh, or we try to. Uh, so, <laughs> We've been doing better uh, this month. Though. Also, <laughs> here this is your your uh, a reminder to pre order Red Markets on Backer Kit. Uh, you, buy the book. Buy the book. Buy the book, uh, or at least the PDF. And uh, now wait, now, now we have to do a Caleb buy my book. Yeah, we have and, to, and we want to remind you that this is a sustainable resource in the recession. If that should happen, it, it actually. Actually doubles as anti zombie armor. Exactly. It can stop a zombie's bite. It might stop uh, a bullet too, but we don't guarantee well, that. Well, low caliber bullet. Let's okay, be fair. Yeah, let's, yeah. 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 Uh, You're not going to stop a cop killer bullet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, we are starting a new Red Markets campaign. Yes. Uh, actually, Caleb and I are going to be splitting GM. There's actually going to be two taker groups. Uh, Caleb's testing out the mass combat rules. And this taker can- this campaign is going to be set in s- the Seattle region. Uh, technically, Whidbey Island, which is off the coast of Seattle. So for those of you uh, in the Pacific so- Northwest who felt left out, your ship has come. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, so we've already started it with some prequel games to test out the, the alpha versions of the, the uh, playtest uh, or the mass combat rules, uh, and we're, we're playtesting it tomorrow night. And it, of course, it'll be a while before you guys listen to it, but hey, it's been fun so far. <laughs> so that's stuff to look forward to. And if you want to support more Red Markets and more actual plays, please pre-order the book. Help Caleb pay for shipping and get paying all his artists. Caleb appreciates it. Uh, Caleb does appreciate yes. it. Uh, and if you have questions about Red Markets, bug him on Twitter. Uh, don't bug me, because I'm not the guy who wrote the rules. Yeah. So, uh, so now with the news, let's talk about Gen Con! Gen Con! Gen Con. Uh, so, Tradition demands. And, not that we're excited or anything. And uh, this is, of course, the 50th year of Gen Con as a convention. Uh, and so they're, they're, they're sold it's, out. It's 75,000 people. That's what they're capped at. And that's how many badges they've sold. Geez, that's uh, so or awesome. given, at least in my case, because I yeah, that's about Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's about <laughs> half the population of the spring of Springfield. Uh, all right. That's technically true. Roughly. So, yeah. yeah uh, according to the sign I saw recently, it was 159,000. Yeah. So just tad under. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they are all descending on poor Indianapolis. Uh, Actually, no, t- Indianapolis loves it. They do. They do. They, love they're it. usually ready for it. So, <laughs> um, except for the bathrooms, boy, they take. They, Holy yeah. shit! Those bathrooms get pretty bad pretty quickly. Exercise your ex- maybe, maybe, exercise your bladders and colons, people. Maybe yeah. that should be another one. Uh, another thing. Responsibly, don't. Ju- yeah. Oh yeah, maybe we should actually do that as a post Gen Con update. Which that's is, a survival. Well, yeah, survival is guide to figuring out the bathroom situation. <laughs> the find the ones in the obscure corners, like the ones in the main exhibit hall. You need. Like emergency only. That's you know abandon all hope. You who enter there, especially by day three. Like there anyway. Uh, the janitors can only do so much, and there's just so much foot traffic, and everyone's eating terrible food. Oh god. Uh, at least in the exhibit hall, because you know it's all burgers and whatnot. But anyways, um, so we got a lot to talk about. This is our tenth year going. Ten Gen- freaking years. Uh, we started role playing public radio because of Gen Con 2017 or tw- not 2007. Tom and uh, did you, I went, you I went 2007? Yeah, uh, so we had to talk about it and that's when we started converting RPPR from an occasional audio comedy radio thing to like, hey, let's do the talk radio thing. Yeah. And you so could, I was, we were like, wait, would we have anything to say about role-playing games? Mm, no. Let me think no, about that. that. I don't think we ever did, so. <laughs> and that's when I pitched my first book, Our Dream, uh, Curriculum Conspiracy. That's when I got killed by Adam Scott Glancy for the first time. Uh, you always remember your first time. I, well, getting killed, yes. Uh, Slipped in an Adam Scott Glancy. Fell off of a Zeppelin. Yep. Uh, good times. It was, it good was times. Good, it was good times. And, um, 
Yeah, so we've been going for 10 years, and I've been doing RPPR for 10 years, and now it's become a job because of Patreon, and all of you, the listeners, thank you so much, thank you. He loves you so much! I sure, I really do. Like, we, we really could not exist without you guys, yeah. so thank you. Um, so, like, we're, we're a lot like old gods, we require your we require your your worship and attention to, to exist. <laughs> yeah. Without you, we would fail. Yeah, American <laughs> podcasting <laughs> gods. Uh, that's, that's what it is right here. And we thank you for what, what attention attention you can give us just sitting in here building charges <laughs> uh we are building charges and uh so this year of course um caleb is not going because gen con is later in yeah, the month unfortunately and because of his just, job and he, he cannot i, I think yeah, just scheduling for the convention center i guess yeah um yeah next year it will be much earlier in the month or i think at the end of july yeah, so, so uh, he will, he will be, be able to, he, will, he should be able to go then um and uh, Bill and Melissa are not going to be able to come as well because, uh, of course, Melissa recently had a child. Babby. Uh, the yeah, Babby uh, excuse. Uh, Nora. And so... Parenting duties. Is parenting duties. So. Um, if you ch- have seen the RPPR Facebook group, uh, they've had some complications with Nora's health and they're, they're trying to raise money for that. Um, I'll put a link to that in the show notes, so please, uh, if you can... Uh, get for that, but yeah, so they they will be with us in spirit, but we're still, despite that, there's still a lot of us coming up from yeah. Springfield. I think we should actually focus. This is that we're trying something for the we first are, time. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. So this, this is was my segue talk. I decided to, I, I you decided were segueing my segue. You were taking too long, so let's get right I into was, it. I was okay, all right. So, uh, ready to segue. This is the, the report, that's right? <laughs> okay. The two segues when two segues collide, all right. Uh, so it's like two black holes. We have a van, is what we I'm are, saying. Yeah. We're taking a single van, for we're, all we're renting it. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ross. yeah. That was the best segment. That is the single worst way you could have put that. Just go. Worse hey or guys, yeah. we have a van. We have a van. I think. No, I think, no. I, the worst way would be. What's it going to take you guys to like us yeah. and trust, trust us and, and get, get in the van? Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst. I, I think. I think that was a great way to segue. Uh, <laughs> that we've rented a van. And we're hauling all. Uh, I think there's going to be nine of us coming up. Uh, mm-hmm. One person's getting a ride back. Uh, different way, so there'll yeah. be eight coming back, but whatever. One We're crammed shall, into the van. One shall fall. Well, and from hopefully what we the dimensions that we've been given to, because it's it, a big van. It's it, like a twelve person. Van. Yeah, so hopefully this won't be like you know just crammed as it is, and we should be pretty comfortable overall. With no, it, it's like, you know, it's an Yeah, well, we no, dude, we checked it out and baggage. Lots of things can fit under seats too, so we're gonna have plenty of room. Uh, yeah. So this this um, we'll talk about this more on the post Gen Con experience. Uh, so let you know how it is because it so may you know suck. How it is. Uh, but yeah, the the whole for us, you know, the whole road trip thing, uh, putting lots of miles on our own cars and that kind of thing. They're not they're not young cars. They're anymore. not young cars. Uh, it, 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 so we're this is an experiment. Hopefully, it'll work out. Uh, we will be taking the RPPR banner um, yes, exactly. and all our stuff. And uh, so that's something to look forward to, and to hear our experiences. Hopefully, hopefully it goes smoothly. Well, for you guys, you win either way. Either we get up there smoothly, and you you get to interact with us, and you get to hear all these great games. Or two, it's a total fucking nightmare. In which case, you you'll be able to listen to some great anecdotes. Oh yeah, uh, of us bitching of us, us bitching about the nightmare <laughs> that it is. Um, um, we were so. never the same after that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's something it, to look forward and to. Bringing up the, the sign of what killed our PPR, the van. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Aaron, don't curse us, Jesus! Like, have they, you heard the story of the van? Don't be them. <laughs> yeah, it's like the white van traveling. It's like the Mary Celeste, the ghost van. <laughs> you could hear them doing station announcements, uh, doing bumpers. This was our PPR. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, and we can also see hey. what the status of all that road construction in Indiana is. Mm, mm, yeah, that's... Actually, last year we got to see an overturned tractor trailer. We did. That was a thing we did see. So, uh, well, we were all taking different vehicles. Okay, back so, then. so we, this time we all get to share the Oh, no, wait, I forgot. That's why you guys were so late behind us, too. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so we do... Uh, I, I put in three official events. Uh, for role playing public radio, I believe they're all uh, they're all filled up. Uh, well, no, no. The Observer effect is, uh, I believe. Last time I checked, that's a Delta Green game. I'm running for Arc Dream, I believe on, on Thursday. I'll have the. I'm not going to give the exact times and places because I'm going to put those in the show notes. So you look at the show notes and click on the links, and you, I'll link to Gen Con itself, Gen Con's website, so you can go there and get tickets if you can. So uh, that's your that's your cute that's your call to action, as they say, <laughs> to go there. Uh, but I'll be running Delta Green Observer effect. 
Um, then we're doing uh, RPPR Live for three mm-hmm. hours. I know that's on Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. And uh, I'll be giving stuff away, uh, some unique stuff from RPPR's history, uh, not just character sheets. Uh, I, and uh, we'll have some news. We'll have some unique stuff. Uh, and of course, we'll be we'll, we'll, we're, we're still planning the final things for this. Um, you know, I think a trivia contest, mm-hmm. uh, art Ross Payton impersonation contest, yeah. of course. Uh, and uh, please bring any questions that you have about RPPR, uh, even rules questions that we will probably get almost certainly get wrong. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm not sorry. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to help troubleshoot your campaign, or you just want to know how we run games or stuff like that, uh, if you want to start your own podcast, and want advice. Uh, we're happy or, to do that. And, yeah, we're how the fuck we haven't killed each other yet because um, we were together so much. Yeah, no. well, we we do. Yeah, separate things. Yeah, so. do separate things. Animal sacrifice. There yeah, you go. Well, well, okay. That I, I didn't know that about you, Tom. I, I thought I told you. No. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Uh, never mind. I thought that was in game. I we, thought we, that was in character. We can edit this out. Is that post, why you right? had people coming steam clean? Because <laughs> I was wondering what the smell was. Aaron. Okay, we could we get that all out right. too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, all, gonna, it all comes out in the wash. <laughs> okay, it's a mix. It's a running gag now in the mix six that I don't edit, so I can't. I feel like I can't edit it anymore. Uh, well, not for the original too. Yeah. So, uh, so by the way, listen to the mix six uh, at the mix six. Uh, Do it. Okay, stock up. Anyways, <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm also doing a panel on Game Designers Workshop. Uh, Going to get Shane Ivy. Uh, Jeff Barber, I believe, uh, maybe Rick uh, He, They might have shifted us around, so I'm not sure if that's going to go through or not. Uh, but, 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 um, yes. but we, I, I will have some news on Ruin. I have been working on Ruin, so uh, uh, I've will, actually figured out how to make it That's right, folks, game. architectural I, horror. I will actually yeah. say that Ross, actually and I discussed, on, yeah. uh, Ross and I discussed this the other night, and uh, yeah, I'm not saying anything because this is absolutely super exciting, and I think this is a really good idea. Yeah. So, uh, this it, it, the the structure of the game now as it is. It's uh, insanely screwed up, and I loved it. So it's an actual. Well, I've I figured out how to take the the vague concept of architectural horror and actually turn it into a game that can be played by humans <laughs> now on a tabletop <laughs> environment. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, I Ross. know. It's, it's Wait, this is out of left field. It, it is. It's it's literally literally taken me years to get this point because I was just like, what the fuck? All right, I want to do this thing on architectural horror. Okay, what the fuck is that? And two, how do you make that in a game? Well, I'll run some messed up games. Well, I can't just put my brain in the book and just tell, you know... Tell them a I can't fork myself. And, uh, <laughs> yet. So, yeah, yet. Uh, RPPR Industries is working on that. Uh, yeah. Uh, in partnership with Post Human Studios. Uh, Indeed. So, um, Preston, so those are the only there. official events. I'll be Preston Crowley soon. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm happy I'm for setting, I'm setting that up. Okay. That, that's good to you. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that you're glad. I'm, gl- I'm glad we're all happy. I, I don't know. I haven't heard from Aaron. Aaron, are you happy about this? No, yeah, mostly. So. Okay, mostly. So, but he has some reservations. Yeah, he has some won't. reservations. He won't eventually. Eventually, right. he won't. So, we also have... Uh, we're also going to be doing a lot of unofficial things. Oh, yeah. Uh, after hours. So, um, what I'm going to put to is a link to the RPPR forums. And that's going to have a link for... Um, various social media things on how to keep in touch and keep track of what's going on uh, at Gen Con. There's a whole f- gr- mob of you guys uh, at Gen Con. We have now. legions, and we and we well a mob. I, 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 a whore. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's it, it a is stampede. It's more like a war. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A uh, podcasting stampede. Yeah, a podcasting stampede, and. Um, these the, the, these links will give uh, links to apps that let you check keep up to date with the RPPR uh, shenanigans uh, with your smartphone if you have one or tablet or whatever um, that's connected to the internet. Um, and also, uh, people will be talking about things that they're doing uh, on the forums. Um, and so. Uh, Aaron, you're going to be posting a little bit about your games, you said? Uh, uh, yeah. Because so, you're running, you're not doing official events, but you're doing uh, Yeah, this is one year, uh, again, like last year, I'm not doing any, uh, I'm not running an official events, and unfortunately, True Dungeon became much more crowded than it was last year. Surprise, surprise, on the 50th, so. Uh, so we're, uh, so I'm very free for this time around, uh, but I do plan to run at least two game, After Hours games, uh, which will actually be Patreon games that I have done, uh, so if you've not listened to those, or you uh, weren't able to get into those ones, uh, you have your chance. Uh, that will be Delta Green Avatar War and Delta Green uh, 
Oh, uh, gone but not forgotten. So uh, I will put up descriptions. Uh, I will basically put thread descriptions on the forums when, for Gen Con. So if you are interested, I'll set times for those. They'll probably be in more... Uh, yeah, if you want to reserve a seat now, like the post on the forums. Uh, yeah, post on the forums too. Um, I probably will be running those on do, 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 You're Thursday night. You're on Sandrock on the forums. Yes, I am. And I may have to actually reset my password because I think it's been All right. a while since I logged in. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, If you see me as Beyond Sandrock, I think I have Daft Punk avatars on there. Uh, yeah, that's going to be new. So. Proto Man. Huh? I thought it was Proto Man, but what? Uh, no, it's, it's been a, I have like two chibi okay, okay. Daft Punk guys going on. Right. So. Uh, so that's something to yeah, uh, keep track of. Tom, what are you planning on doing? Uh, I, well, if for anyone who lo- who listened to uh, our last episode of uh, After Hours, yeah, I was thinking about actually trying to run a g- session of the uh, old world uh, White Wolf Street Fighter game. Yeah, it's not World of Darkness. No, it's <laughs> White Wolf. It's just what it's storyteller. Storyteller system, yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was that White Wolf actually did it. I know. Phil Dost- published Phil- the storyteller mm-hmm. system. Yeah, just Phil but, uh, Just because I think it would be hilarious and possibly a train wreck in a in a good fun way. Possibly. I so I, I, I admire your optimism. I, uh, so I'm actually going to try to see if I can find the fight cards that went with it. Mm-hmm. But if I can't, there's rules for doing it without, so I'm sure we can... Does it involve throwing, uh, rolling a lot of D10s? It involves rolling a lot of D10s. Would it be a bucket of D10s? No, because I think the most you can roll is 10 okay. in that system. Mm. Interesting. Um, also, kind of disappointing for... <laughs> I've got a couple of uh, Call of Cthulhu scenarios that I'll be, I will be running in the Delta Green system, because it is a superior system. Now, we haven't given Call of Cthulhu 7th, 7th edition, the new edition, a fair ch- a chance at all yet. So uh, no, I th- we've we been need been to do busy. that at some point. Yeah, yeah. we've been pretty busy now, with well, Delta Green. I, I, I don't have a copy of it, but I'm sure I can. I do. Okay, we can probably then. rectify that this year. Gen indeed. Con. Yes, indeed. So uh, so there's a chance. There's one, uh, two scenarios I want to try. Uh, I'm probably going to run be running Operation Downslope mm-hmm. again for anyone who wants to... Uh, take part in it, and I also have yet another... Wait, are the players going to be briefed in that? <laughs> they will be briefed as much as I think they should be briefed. So not at all, then. We're, we're... Okay. So what, uh, what... Can you give us just some hint about what... They'll be briefed by the British government on what their mission is. Okay. Beyond that... Okay. Yeah. Not, not, no. not much in the way of briefing, then. No. Okay. I also have another uh, World War II scenario. This one I have not run yet. So this will be a brand new one that uh, I'm. I will be running for anyone who wishes to try it. I don't have actual times, but I will be using. I'll be using the messenger systems we decide to use. Yeah, I mean we do use a couple of different ones. Uh, that's why I'm not like saying check here, check this because we don't know. Um, yet. Yeah. Well, because um, you know I don't want one to get too popular to uh-huh. get flooded. Uh, we're also yeah. So yeah, check yeah. the forum because that'll have the most yeah. up to date. So. Yeah, but I'll probably I'll be uh, doing these in the evening. Yeah, and uh, so that's just that's what I'm doing officially. Uh, on, I, well, unofficial games. That's kind of the way I prefer to do it. Yeah. Um, also, I'll be showing I'll be showing a couple of uh, newbies of Gen Con first timers okay. around. Two online friends of mine who I've one I've met in real life. The other I have chatted with online. They'll be coming to Gen Con for the first time. Okay. So their first experience will be the 50th anniversary. Um, that I mean, you know, that's not bad as things go. No, that's something uh, they can certainly say. So uh, I'm actually, they said they will be relying on, on me for, uh, you know, being a guide. And that kind of actually gives, gives me a warm fuzzy. Like, oh, my God, I, I'll be showing someone around something I'll be, I've been doing for 10 years. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, <laughs> I, am the, I am a wise sage. That. Yes, uh, we didn't have that. Even though, one of the, even though I'm only... Yeah. Well, I'm, only, I'm only four uh, years older than one of them, so yeah. Uh, so, one thing I didn't want to mention before, uh, I get too far talking about, um, uh, Paizo was actually kind enough to send another uh, review supplement of uh, Pathfinder, um, a new supplement called The Adventurer's Guide. It looks very beautiful. It's about, you know, organizations uh, that players can join or, you know, be, you know, they can be antagonist organizations or ally organizations. Uh, they so just guilds upon classes. guilds upon guilds? Yeah, um, and the you know it's got the high standard again. Uh, j- like the thing is, I haven't had time to read it yet. Uh, I'm gonna review it in our um, post cut Gen Con episode or the episode after that. I do plan to review it, but I do want to give a shout out to just the, that it, it's here. It's a very nice looking book, and it looks very useful if you're running Pathfinder <laughs> um, or probably. I mean, these organizations. 
Um, might be useful for any kind of fantasy role playing game. I, I don't know yet. I don't. I haven't had enough time to read. But I mean, but if you want to put it with anything like Thirteenth Age or something else like that, yeah, probably you would be able to mine it for ideas. Uh, maybe, maybe not necessarily the game mechanics, but certainly the ideas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not as useful for it, per se as the bestiary because beast monsters you can throw in any number of games. Games, but um, yeah. So I wanted to give that a brief mention. I'll put a link into there. Um. So, of course, Gen Con is the big thing for releasing new games, too, which we should talk about. Um, mm-hmm. And one thing is, I, I Board Game Geek has this forum thing. So, oh, here are all the new releases that are going to be at Gen Con. And the thing is, it's literally hundreds of new games. Now, most of these are, like, board games and card games. And obviously, at, at RPPR, we're a little more interested in RPGs, weirdly enough. Um, but uh, we could talk a little bit about what kind of things we're looking for in the exhibit hall this year. Like, what are we going to be keeping your eye out on for? So, uh, Tom, is there anything you're, like, wanting to, like, you know, uh, you consider a really good year if you could find this in the exhibit hall? Because huh. it could be not necessarily, like, a new release. Maybe it's some something... Out of print that like because they have these vendors that sell like the older stuff. Yeah, the older stuff. Well, I'll say there's uh, there's one thing off the bat. I will be purchasing. Yeah, I will be purchasing a Palladium book. My copy of Mutants in Avalon as you, I, it's falling it's fallen apart. Okay, so I need a replacement copy, but that's it. You need. I need it. You need it. I because I, I still like to have all those. Like I still like to have my collection complete. And I got that. I got that copy super used. Okay, but but Tom. Well, do you do you need it? Well, anyway, let's move on. So uh, <laughs> no, no, I think it's I think it's nice to be concentrate on this and, and get some clarity. I really, no, I really, I, I, I think, I think we, I, I think we, we illustrate the point. All right, he needs his means of apple. Um Also, uh, fuck you. <laughs> no, uh, no, actually, no. There is there is an old world. Of I mean, Dark- I was, no, I do, there's an old world of darkness book. I want to see if I can find again. Oh yeah, it's uh, the Elysium book. The high level one. Yeah, it's basically the uh, yeah the book for creating elders. Did you lose your copy of that or? Yeah, I lost my copy of it. Oh, okay. And uh, so it's again, it's a book I really kind of. It's, so you're not really look paying too much attention to the new releases or anything like that. Uh, well, I I think I will definitely be checking out. Uh, oh, as a uh, Starfinder. Uh, Starfinder, yeah, that was. Uh, because Izo's uh, new release that's more of their Pathfinder for science fiction and fantasy. Yeah, so. maybe, yeah, I, I, I'm aware of that, and that's about, about all I know about it. Do any of you know anything? Uh, no, it's about as much information I have. So um, you're gonna. This is your your hard hitting investigative. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna uh, check that. Well, out. Well, I will take a look at that too. Um, something else I was actually I, you sent me that I, I found out when we they were putting out is um, Star Trek Adventures, which... Uh, oh, yeah, that's from Mephidius. Uh, yeah. Mephidius, uh, I- I'm kind of interested by this, because, one, I- I- I'm interested to see whenever they do, like, a big uh, franchise like this to see what the full mechanics are. Um, but I will admit that their post right here, it says, the first launching uh, Star Trek Adventures RP, the first official... RPG of the Final Frontier in the more than a decade. Oh, more than a decade. I read that wrong. So that's correct. Because I thought for for a second it looked like only one. Wait a minute. I have a book up on my, in, upstairs of Starships. But uh, no, I'm really interested to see how they will pull that off because I did that with the Doctor Who one um, as well. And that was okay. So, that was um, Cubicle 7, I believe. That was Cubicle right. 7 that did it. So uh, with theirs. But we'll see how that goes. Right. Um, I know the big thing, and I have you to blame for this, Ross. So uh, for this, actually, you and uh, Marine Jason. Uh, Jason, yeah. Well, he's basically our only Jason at this point. Yeah. So. The first Jason has retired for now because he moved away yeah, so. to pursue a career. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, on well, Railery, that's why I put on my on my Darkest Dungeon group for that. will be different. So, um, anyway, but uh, Conflict 47, which I did not think miniatures could be this fun, and then I gave it a shot and like, oh, this is good when it doesn't. it's not hammered in with Warhammer, so... Uh, but I, I actually have had a lot of fun with that, so I'm going to see what they're promoing this year. Because um, they made, a, I play the British, so they made a lot of promise for uh, bringing back some stuff in robots because it's uh, bullshit that you've gotten. Bu- you and 
uh, Jason have both gotten flyer, have both gotten rocketeers, and I haven't. So, but. Uh, <laughs> screw you, your robot suck. And, uh, it's only because uh, they blow you into pieces. Yeah, so. yeah, well, all right, that's a pretty bad. Out of all the reasons to hate them, that's like number one. That, that's a whole maybe word. number two. That's but, okay, but it's it's up there. But that's a whole other can of worms. But I'm uh, interested to see possibly picking up yeah. a game book of myself so we can run that more thoroughly. And uh, uh, well, the main rule, well, the main thing. Uh, uh, Jason is telling me that they're uh, releasing their. They may have copies that they're doing a supplement uh, for it. That's going to have the army list for the Japanese uh, and new and other new units and new options. Uh, so I forgot what it's called, but obviously in our post on episode, yeah. if we get it, we'll, we will talk about it. Absolutely. So. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to check out Conflict 47 see if they have any new uh, units to pick up. I know Jason wants us to get some stuff. He's going to have a shopping list for us. Um, well, other things, you'll have work to do. I will have work to yeah. do. Uh, I'm also going to be looking um, not just that, but like uh, looking at other vendors for terrain. And uh, I'm actually getting really interested in just doing more, like getting into more mini based games. Like there's a lot of skirmish games out there. Yeah, and I kind of want to see. Like, not all of them are the Warhammer level of, like, have, get $500 worth of Plastic Army guys. Um, so, what, uh, like, Osprey, for example, publishes skirmish games. I've, I showed you uh, one. Yeah, you did. A so. Kung Fu, which came out in 2014. Uh, so, I might look to see if I can get miniatures for that. Um, but also, they keep publishing these games. And there's also a ton of third-party minis vendors that could do these custom minis that could be used for multiple games. Uh, that's been kind of interesting, too, especially yeah. in the era of 3D printing and when yeah. that could be more... Uh, speaking of that, I actually, I am going to be... Shapeways is going to be there. Oh, they will? Uh, yeah. Oh. And I'm definitely going to be checking out their booth. Uh, Shapeways, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a 3D printing company where you can upload your own designs and they will 3D print them and mail them to you uh, in a variety of different materials. So it's kind of like CreateSpace uh, or Lulu, but for objects. Yeah, and they can do anything for a lot of other prices, too, because uh, something I've, do, I've been pricing like a piece of uh, jewelry that I was considering buying for a necklace for a while, that it would actually yeah, I know that if I had that custom made anywhere else, that would actually be like thousand dollars easily, yeah. but in the materials they have, it would only be a couple hundred. Uh, yeah, in fact, they have places where you if you upload 3D models, uh, people can, then you can open up a storefront that people can then just order them and you get a cut of it. Like, yeah. And I know that Shapeways... A lot of people made weird looking dice for it, mm-hmm. uh, and and terrain for Absolutely. skirmish games, uh, stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna check Shapeways out, um, and so definitely want to check that out. And I'm just gonna yeah, what like I've, every time I've gone to Gen Con so far, I've been like mostly focused on tabletop role playing games. I kind of like don't really I have this is the first year where I will actually care about the minis <laughs> category because up until this year. Up until last year when Jason got into it, and then you got into yeah. it, uh, like, I had no point to get in, because nobody would play miniatures games with me. <laughs> and now I can, and it's like, a whole new world. Uh, someone should make a song based on that. Uh, oh, God, don't, oh, please, no. <laughs> please, no. Not that song, no. What song? I don't know what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. It's over. I'm just saying you would make... I, I'm saying... Aaron's would, making weird noises. He'd make a really good song. It's a really it's good someone, song. Yeah, someone were to write it. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm really looking forward to checking out a bunch of stuff that I just sort of ignored at Gen Con up until mm-hmm. now, because I just, you know, like, oh, that's cool, but that would be a waste of money because no one would ever play with it with me. And this year, ha ha, uh, I could hook more suckers, I mean friends, into this. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Pawns. I'm obviously going to be looking over the usual suspects, uh, Pelgrim Presses, Arc Dreams. Um, the Arc Dream, of course, is not, they don't quite have Delta Green yet, uh, Delta Green out yet. Uh, they're going to be doing a, they have it in manuscript form, uh, and so you can read the 550 page PDF of the game. Uh, if you're, if you, uh, back a Kickstarter, or, or if you backed into Stet Willer's, uh, Patreon, but, um, they should be doing a Delta Green workshop or seminar to talk about Delta Green, and of course we'll record that. As always. Yeah. Um, and what else? Um, I'll be talking to people at Room Studios. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, one thing I might try to do this year is get into an Eclipse Phase game with the Human Studios people to tr- see to see how this, the second edition rules. Uh, yeah, because okay. we really yeah. haven't... Because uh, did you back the Kickstarter for uh, for two? Uh, yes, I backed it at $1 so okay. I could follow it. 
Uh, but you know, I wrote for it. True. So you I, get a book I did write it. like thirteen thousand words for it. Okay, never mind. So, so. I got. I mean, I, do you think you're entitled to privileges? I, I'm entitled to a contributor's copy or two. I yeah. know that. Uh, but you know, I mean, they've already paid me. By the way, the Posthuman Studios is a great studio. They're, they're good guys. Uh, they're good guys. No, it's interesting. Uh, yeah, because I know there's been kind of some up and down for the rules, and that's like in their forums. So. Um, they've streamlined character creation a lot. They've also streamlined gear creation a lot, or gear. They've like gear packages, so you don't buy individual. Items. You can you like, just get that grouping. You, you can you can buy them individually, but you can like they they you know people get overwhelmed because there's so much fucking gear yeah. uh, in that game. Uh, the main thing is they made it a lot easier to swap out morphs now because you get uh, essentially not only there's moxie but there's like body and mind sort of pools and then like so if you get into a, a really beefy physical morph you get a like body point five body points that you can use like moxie but only for physical things. Okay. Um, I so, can see that, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, instead of having to modify your base attributes all the time. No. Um, so, or every time you swap morphs. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, that... Uh, so, I, I mean, I've read the rules, but I haven't, like, learned them well enough to run the game yet. Uh, so, if I can, if I can get a playtest game with, uh, you know, Adam and Rob and all them, uh, I will definitely try to do that. And... Um, so that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, uh, I'm also be checking out Goodman Games. Uh, Goodman Games, of course, did Mutant Crawl Classics, <laughs> uh, which I still want to do a campaign of. But like they, what happened was they released the PDF of it. Uh, oh yeah, they had a. Uh... They, they well, basically, they released mm-hmm. the PDF of it, and then people went through and was like, oh, you're you know, instead of magic, they have like these what they call uh, circuit wear or something like that, where it's. Um, Basically, you make a pact with one of these one of these eight ancient AIs, and it'll give you abilities that are equivalent to magic. Like if you make a pact with the weather satellite AI, it will give you the ability to call down lightning on your foes, uh, like you do. Like you do. But the thing is, the rules for that are still sort of vague and incomplete. Okay. So they're like, well, it's, we were going to public, you know, just take this PDF and send it to the printer. But you raised a lot of good things. We're going to keep on working and revise it. So they, that's awesome. So, because of that, they, they're they not going to have the print book ready for Gen Con, uh, but I want to talk to them see how far along it is in playtesting, because I, once, once I get those, because I really want to, like, with those eight, eight AIs, like, oh my god, I really want to do the campaign. Because, um, <laughs> alright, so there's, like, a weather satellite AI that wants to restore the Earth to, like, a natural paradise. It's, like, um, there's essentially a subway AI. It like managed all the subways and like will reward you if you clean out a subway station and repair it, the trains and shit like that. But you then get the power to transport yourself anywhere. Uh, there's a subway station. God, this sounds like Mega Man RPG. Uh, it's just, well, it's, it's, your... it's it's fucking Thunder of the Barbarian Mega Man <laughs> RPG. Uh, and this is only one character class can do that. You have to be a shaman to do yeah. it. Uh, I was always a big Ookla fan. For those yeah. of you who have seen oh, that show. Weird? Really? Yeah, I know. Weird, huh? You, you, you mean Chewbacca of that show? Yeah. Yeah, I like I like this one. I like him. I like Ookla better than Chewbacca, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then there, there was like an entertainment VR AI. Uh, so they're like eight crazy AIs with their own weird agendas. And you gain magic, basically magical powers from them. And I just like that instead of having gods. Like, I, there's a lot of really cool uh, ideas in Mutant Fall Classic, so I'm really looking mm. forward to trying it out. Huh. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to see whatever uh, Mut- uh, Mutineer Zero has. Um, yeah, uh, I have not I'll be going by. I'll be going by. I'll be going by them. Yeah. Uh, that's Mophidius. Uh, they're also doing oh, Star Trek Adventures. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of there's a you know there's just so many board games, so many games coming out that I don't know what I'm going to be really hyped about. So I'm just going to kind of let let my impressions at the exhibit hall kind of guide me. Uh, Indeed, yeah. yeah just we seeing, shall uh, go I'm, we shall go forth unto the dealer hall yeah. and be amazed. I'm mean, yeah, I'm just kind of interested to see how like said the 50th anniversary fully influences this because again we've been through this will be like I said ten years for you, mm-hmm. nine years for me. So. Um, this is going to be interesting to see what kind of other festivities they have planned in addition to that too so yeah well they have a huge schedule of events uh, I know there's doing they're doing concerts there's like they might be giants or something yeah they might be giants are playing off site as well uh, mm, somewhere of course uh, there's I know uh, more than a couple of our, my friends including one of my online friends will be doing the costume parade and, uh, yeah there's going to be a lot of cosplayers yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is 15,000 additional people over last year, so, like... That's a lot uh, of people. It's going to be a lot of people. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I have not looked at the schedule of events that much. I haven't looked at I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of seminars or even any seminars this year, recording-wise, um, simply because, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be. I've kind of left my schedule open aside from the three events. So yeah. uh, That's kind of the way I like to do it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I do kind of – I'll probably get one or two seminars. I know Pelgrane is doing a bunch of seminars. Uh, well, obviously, we're doing the Delta Green one, yeah, so that's, that's one. That's for our green uh, seminar, yeah. And, yeah, I'm just kind of letting myself – uh, be open to possibilities. Uh, and, but yeah, we will definitely uh, be in touch with all the RPPR fans over social media. Um, we will be doing the RPPR live. That's a great place to meet up with us. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be doing, we'll be there the entire time. Well, not the entire time. We're, we're going to be leaving sun, early Sunday relatively. So. Yeah. So we'll, I, think, uh, I think Sunday afternoon. Yeah. You know, one and, last lunch and, with uh, our friends and yeah. on the road we go. And uh, the day after Gen Con is the solar eclipse. So we yes. will be performing dark rituals to bring about, oh, I mean, we're, we're not going to be doing dark Wait, rituals. Wait, isn't, isn't this one line? Ross, hey, 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 hey guys, guys yeah. Ross, who's to say? I will say though, uh, Stanley Steamer is great for getting out the stains. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, and yeah, my Apocalypse 2012. What do you mean? I'm doing a dark ritual to bring about five years later. Thinking, <laughs> Aaron, how silly! That would never happen. <laughs> Ross, why are you sweating? <laughs> you have your bloodstone. Uh, yeah, Ross, is your bloodstone circle ready? I told you never talk about it. I uh, will be. Uh, see you, Jacob. Bye.